They say life, it's a series of now And nothing draws a crowd quite like a crowd And nothing makes a mother more proud, more proud Than to see her young grow up to succeed Oh, success, they say it takes some failure you might have to sweat, you might just have to bleed I say if this is as good, oh, as good as it can be Well, good is good enough for me Well done, Brendan O'Hara We're back, guest on the gondola Special guest, I talked about him last week He had a uh, show at RMU last week Thursday, he's going to have a show actually tonight as well at RMU, 7 o'clock, 7 to 9. Brendan, thanks for being here. Good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to sing that whole thing, but I was like, I better not. I'm just going to ruin it. We can do more. <laughs> so I just uh, let I like you know. I like office. Man. Yeah. This ain't bad, huh? Nice office. Good view. Beautiful. <laughs> Couple things uh, going on this weekend, guys, in Breck. There's a wine and food festival. Uh, most of the events are sold out, but there's a few uh, general admission tickets for Saturday, the Grand Tasting. And then over in Copper this weekend, there's a mac and cheese fest. So, gonna be live music and good food, good drinks all weekend. Always something going on. Brendan, tell us a little bit about yourself. What you got going on? Well, uh, you know, I'm here in Breck for a little while. I'm uh, taking some downtime, but also playing tonight at RMU. Uh, I, I came to Breck first as, uh, you know, as many people do uh, on vacation and just trying to get some time on the mountain. And over the course of the last two years, I uh, became a homeowner and uh, um, a fan of the of Breckenridge, not just for its mountain, but for its people and the culture. So, uh, who knows? I could be a transplant someday, or at least this could be home base. But for right now, uh, I call Miami home, and or really, I call thirty thousand feet home. It's kind of where I uh, I spend a lot of my time on route from place to place. Always on the plane. Yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it kind of goes back to, and we've talked a little bit about the whole lifestyle deal and what's going on up here, and just the people and stuff. Last Thursday, he was playing at RMU, and I don't know if I've danced that much in the last five years combined, but it was a good time. <laughs> Little technical difficulty, had to switch out cameras, but we're back. We're back. Um, it's, who's, some might say it's never the right time or it's always the right time, yeah. but ideally, like the, um, the thought was to get into the market soon and, host, and watch it grow because this is obviously a growing market. Right, and, uh, I agree. It has done nothing but. And um, really for us, we wanted something that was um, right on the mountain and this was a great community and close to Denver. And um, then Breckenridge, Breckenridge speaks for itself at that point. Right, yeah. yeah. It is hard to put it into words and you can only say it so many times, but it is the lifestyle up here and just, how amazing everybody and all the events and everything that's going on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful all year round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially right now. The summer, summer's kind of where it's at for me. This is my first summer here and I could, I would have to agree. Yeah. Yeah. I like the winter. I like skiing. That's all fun and games, but uh, the summer and being out hiking, camping, biking on the, on the beer patio, listening to Brendan play. This, okay. It seems like there is more, there's a broader thing, things to do in the summer than there is in the winter. You yeah. Know, get on the mountain, you know, maybe go snowshoeing or something like that. But essentially there's just tons of things to right. do in the summer. So, so you're playing tonight. Yeah. What, you got anything else coming up in Breck? Uh, not until September. Okay. Uh, so, you know, like I said, taking a little time here to regroup and really enjoy what Breck has to offer aside from uh, me just performing. So. Um, the, the next uh, the next trip is out to Europe for a little while, and then back September thirteenth for another show in Arnhem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So tonight, otherwise you gotta wait till September thirteenth. Um, real quick, I want to go over a couple things uh, on the Breck market. Uh, right now, there's about two hundred and fifty listings in Breck, and out of those, there's only forty seven that are under five hundred grand. Uh, thirty seven under 500 grand and the average days on market is 21 on those 
uh, and selling for around 98% less price. So uh, they're going fast and there's not much of a discount, but there's a few there. Uh, 113 between 500k and a million and then the other hundred is over a million so we got a few here inventory still low uh, especially historically but um, if you guys are interested in a property I am pretty confident I could find you something so get a hold of me let me know Brendan's gonna take us out here on our last little jaunt down the gondola where were we? If this is as good as it gets If this is as good as it gets If this is as good or as good as it can be Well, good is good enough for me If this is as good as it gets Across Carolina, and I drank from Florida's maple back to you. Oh, I swam about in a ballpark up in Cleveland and in New York. I sing the Miss Liberty statue. I'm making music and mayhem in Miami. You better believe that. See the Seattle shuffle and the San Francisco twist. Well, I'm right here in Brackenridge, and it feels really good to do this. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Take care. Oh, if this is as good as it does, if this is as good as it could as it can be, well, good is good enough. You heard it first on Guests from a Gondola with my extra special friend Scott Snook. Call him up if you need a house. <laughs> <laughs>